three questions. I would like to go, I uh, would like uh, if you can explain a little bit more what you just said about the costs for airports uh, in the off-season, what it does it mean for the uh, airline, for the charter airlines, uh, which airports are uh, effective. The second point is, you said uh, there's a new law underway to make investments easier. Is it for uh, foreign investments also, for hotel investments? What Can you explain a little bit more uh, what the, this will mean for the tourism sector? And the third question is, uh, what are your expectations, especially for the German market, the number of visitors? Uh, do you expect a growth? And what, what, uh, can you give us a percentage growth goal or something you expect for this year? Thank you. First of all, let me, uh, I will try to address each one of your questions. Uh, as far as the cost of airports are concerned, uh, last year we um, made a decision with the Ministry of Transportation. Uh, there are two taxes that are essentially um, imposed on uh, people arriving in, uh, in Greece. Uh, one was completely repealed last year, now it's running at 50% of the original amount and we are working with the Ministry of uh, uh, Transportation to repeal it again for the tourist season. Uh, the second tax is uh, much larger. It has to do with uh, a tax uh, imposed for the uh, renovation of airports and so forth. Uh, what we are uh, trying to do right now, because we don't want the, the amount of money uh, that we have available to be reduced, but we're looking as to what would be the effect of uh, reducing this by half on the off-season. Uh, that would mean essentially a reduction for the cost of passengers from 22 euros per passenger to 12 euros. Uh, but we need to make sure that um, the demand that this would, uh, such a move would uh, create uh, would uh, replenish the, uh, the amount lost. Um, in other words, that the interest that it would create would, um, uh, would be balanced out by new, new airport arrivals. Um, in terms of uh, making investment easier, no, this is investment for anybody who's willing to invest in Greek tourism. That would be uh, Greeks as well as foreigners. Um, one of the biggest problems that we have had is that investment in Greece takes a long time. The processes are very complicated and too many people are involved in the process. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is to create, uh, I know uh, many people here at the time, uh, a sort of one-stop shop. And what I mean by that is one area where you can go and get um, all the permits that you need in order to invest um, in a hotel or something like this. Um, one of the big problems that we've had is that um, way more than one ministry was responsible for the process. We have the Ministry of Tourism, we have the Ministry of uh, Environment, we have local authorities and so forth. What we are trying to do is to codify the, all the different laws, bring them in one place and make sure that we're not asking people to bring us uh, two or three times the same paperwork and so forth. It's a, it's a long-term process, uh, but uh, I believe that we will have a new law in place. Um, we certainly uh, intend to introduce the new law within the next uh, month or two. Uh, in terms of uh, expectations, those of you who know me, uh, you know very well that I will not make any predictions before September. And the reason for that is that the market, the tourist market is changing. We can, um, last year we had the terrible uh, year, I would say that um, uh, we have described that year as being the perfect storm. For those of you who remember, uh, last year um, we had the, the tourist season started with the volcano and the problem of air traffic because of the volcano. We had the bankruptcy of two main British companies that were bringing uh, visitors to Greece. Uh, we had uh, the very unfortunate events of May. And uh, probably the one thing that most of you here in Germany know, which saddens me the most, was uh, a very bad uh, press between uh, Greece and Germany, which uh, also had uh, caused problems in the German market. Uh, however, uh, last ma May, uh, when things were very difficult, what we did is something that had been done for the first time in the Greek tourist uh, industry, and that is we brought all stakeholders together. We brought the government, agencies, um, we brought uh, private, uh, the private sector together in one room and we said we need to change what is going on. We had cancellation after cancellation, especially for Athens, um, but we, we had to change the way we were doing things. We sat around the table, we created a crisis management team, and uh, I'm happy to say that uh, we defied predictions and arrivals in Greece did not change since 2009 despite the, um, the terrible events of 2010. 
Uh, in terms of arrivals, we ended up being um, on the same level as 2009. Mm -hmm. In terms of income, we had about a 5% reduction, which is also explained by the reduction in uh, prices that uh, hotels uh, were offering in order to make sure that uh, tourists, um, uh, visitors will, uh, will pick Greece as a destination. Um, it, all I'm saying by this is that um, the, the year is not the way it used to be. We cannot look into January or February and predict what's going to happen by the end of the year. Our mentality is changing on that level. Instead of thinking, let's do a one-time one campaign in November and let it run for the year, what we do is we adjust our policy depending on what's going on in the market, depending on what are the needs for each market. England and Germany are very different markets. We treat them differently. Uh, Russia is a different market. We look at it in a different light. We have one main message that we want to pass on, but from there on we work with the uh, local um, uh, businessmen in order to make sure that what we do in every market is most effective.